Dead meme. Hey guys, welcome back for episode two. We're playing some Subtech Ages. Uh, where I left off yesterday, uh, not too much interesting was going on. We were just sort of finishing up some crafting stations. And we managed to get a whole bunch of bone meal. Uh, we created the water bladder. I have a bunch of feathers. What I'm hoping to do, I'm hoping that this is enough. I'm going to run along the rivers. And if I'm real lucky, I'm going to encounter a village. And if we're even luckier, the villagers will have a map maker or the uh, NPC that you could buy the antique uh, map from. And as well, a farmer. So I can learn how to make the farming block. So I'm going to... Uh, ro roam the wilderness a little bit uh, just a strong recommendation it, oh as you can see there's a little uh, spoiler alert for the future a, a mysterious hole in the river but that is definitely for another time so if you want to explore and live a, in relative safety uh, and of not getting lost at least I recommend running along the riverbanks and you run back to where your uh, where you put all your fishing traps down and then you know your way home from there, right? So I'm just going to do that. I don't see this being super exciting uh, at the moment. So I'll be back. So running along the riverbank has paid off. My hut isn't too far from here, which is kind of nice. But I'm just going to pop in and take a look at this village and hopefully I don't need to kill any more chickens or anything like that. So I really don't need the... Uh, the choppiness from the vegan gods. Uh, the leather worker. What are you? Nothing. Uh, oh, shepherd. That's not a bad deal. Yeah. I'll trade with that guy, I guess. Okay. Uh, this is a pretty well. The villagers got a better trade. This is a pretty wonky looking village. Uh, I'm gonna just maybe keep she uh, stealing their wool. Oh, and cows for the future when I need to do my buffalo dance. I don't think we're too far away from to Totemix, but uh, we'll have to see when we get there. All right, there's more going on up here. What is that sound? Villagers always sound depressed. Well, I guess I would be too if there were weirdos roaming around my village cutting holes in the walls to find me. Uh, yeah, this is one janky village. I don't think I'm going to find it here. Alright, so we ran a little bit further down the river. It seems like there's, like the village is kind of cut into pieces. So, there we go. So, I can now produce these blocks by using bone meal as well as uh, buying it from him. If I'm really lucky, there's the map NPC in this village. Where are you? Yeah, I'm going to have to post this in our, uh, in our friend's Discord here where I found this village. Because I think this is the first village that we found that's not useless. Alright. <laughs> I may not be lucky enough to get the map NPC as well. Well, we'll be back. I just have to be careful about exploring. I know I live around here somewhere. That hole in the wall is a good indicator. There it is. Alright. So, now that we have learned the farmland, we can make it really cheap with dirt and a single bone meal. Let's go inside. Oh, I put some punji sticks on the outside of the house to uh, help ward off. All you gotta do is get some sugar cane. You can get it from the strainers. And home sweet home.
So I built a few more of these uh, just so I can be lazy and toss them in. I don't have to deal with uh, taking care of it. All right, so with this farmland, you take a little bit of dirt and some bone meal, you can make the farmland. Um, you'll place it in the world like a normal block. If you uh, dig it up, it'll break. So keep that in mind. I am going to go out into the river here because it requires irrigation. And we'll just get on out there and pl start planting our first crops. Eventually, we can make a hoe and turn any dirt into it, but until then, like, this is the method that's available to us. Here, we'll start growing some seeds. There we go. So, a lot of running around. I didn't show a lot of it. Me crossing a river over and over isn't super fun to watch, so we'll come back in a little bit. Uh, I guess it's about time to start maybe working on leather and barrels. So, I'll see you soon. So, witness the power of the punji stick. So, we're going to have a great deal of goodies to collect by the end of the night. Maybe now. Man, I keep falling off on the nutrition. Wow, punji sticks really hurt. All right, so I'm going to run back down and attempt to plant some more farm stuff. I made a little pen. I'm going to capture some animals soon and start breeding and deal with the uh, jerks who live in the neighborhood. Uh, without leather, I'll be unable to sleep through the night, so I'm going to have to deal with this for the next little while until I get some leather, and leather is when you can make a sleeping bag or a teepee and sleep through the night. But uh, until something interesting happens, you'll see me later. All right, the joy of leading animals back to a pen at night time. Probably going to end up murdering that sheep. I don't want it in that pen. Yeah, there we go. I knew this would be interesting. Tons of jerks to deal with. While I play follow the leader with a cow. Uh... Oh, oh shoot. Oh, the cow didn't get her too bad. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, spider on skeleton violence. Well, it looks like they're busy playing. All right, I'll go back there and see if I can get my cow back. No, we won't be doing that. All right, so we're going to use the power of punji sticks. Oh, what am I lacking in nutrition? I need some more protein. All right, so... We are Captain Cheese. Come on, boys. These karate zombies, when they die, they drop these little uh, red orbs that if they are picked up by other karate zombies, they get stronger. So keep that in mind. They can become quite dangerous. Oh. Man, all of this trouble because I'm too impatient to wait for night. Uh, at least I'll be able to sleep through it soon. All right. Well, the fun's over. We'll be back in a bit. All right, and in we go. And done. Uh, keep in mind, if you do the punchy stick method, be careful with your uh, cattle that you're going to start bringing home. They, those punchy sticks really hurt. And here we are. 
Okay, we should be able to read you. Perfect. Now we got two. And our future supply of leather for the next tutorial is ready. Okay, so we've been feeding the cows. Uh, we're going to basically make sure we have a large supply of pelts. The next tutorial is going to cover leatherworking. Leatherworking uh, is quite a process. And if you can do it only one time, the better. This is from the Totemic mod. I'm going to eventually turn one of these into a buffalo, or I think it's two of them. And I just took my shovel and made a little path. I, I like to do this because the size of your base, it gets really big. So it's nice to kind of um, to have landmarks and whatnot. Because like later on, we're going to have like oil refineries. There's going to be like three or four distillation towers. And it's just nice to create like a pathway where you don't build anything, nothing in the way. You can easily get around. But see this stone here? See how it doesn't break immediately? Leave those stones alone because they're a marker for the future of uh, useful metals. But we're going to check the strainer because I found a map merchant or an antique merchant. That might be enough. So that first town I visited, there was a map merchant. I just saw him when I was leading more cows back to my pen. Now, I really hope I can find him again. He wears like a white coat. They're usually pretty easy to spot, but we're going to run over there. We're going to take a look around. We'll find him. Yes, he was kind of like hiding off to the side of the village. So this is the guy. Uh, I don't know what you're doing out here, buddy. It's not a safe place. Oh, just enough. And my feathers. So now we've got the map. So if we throw it in our um our toolbar here and use it there we go and we can put it in our offhand like that and we'll always have access to it and this is the earliest map so eventually you'll unlock a a better version like the uh, journey map is available in this game uh but it's definitely something we're going to get to a little bit later like it's not um it's not available to us until we perform some pretty difficult achievements. And that's in the Twilight Forest in another dimension. So we're a long ways away. But we're going to just, you know, keep moving along, get the next set of tools, next set of equipment. The nice thing about this map is you can kind of toggle and create little markers. So, oh, yeah, that's a... It saves all the spots where you happen to die and whatnot, too. Uh, add a marker. So right here, we're going to go with base. There we go. So returning, we can use the map to find our way home. I managed to die up there because, you know, I'm a dummy. But anyway, on to the next. All right, so with nighttime falling... And always having vi unexpected visitors, like such as the spider. I'm just going to throw a little roof on what we've done so far. I know it's ugly. It's made out of dirt. It's like a, like an Xbox kid's house. <laughs> but uh, when we get the ability to mass produce wood with uh, the automation systems, we'll definitely alter the way we're doing things. We'll build a much nicer house. There we go. And yeah, so only a spider would be able to sneak through there. So I've done this just so I can easily like throw stuff in. Like you can't access it that way if you do it like this. And then it kind of picks it up for you. It's a much, much uh, easier way to access your items as opposed to what they give you. We aren't very far off from an upgraded chest, but like we're far enough away that we won't see it today. So, and I'm going to dry out more thatch. Uh, it gets used for some important recipe. I believe it's the sleeping bag, and it may have a few other uses, but this is my big use. I like to use it as a door. So like when I get the bow or the tomahawk, I can throw stuff through there and deal with any creep or any jerk that shows up. But let's move on. All right, so as we're progressing, 
as you can see here, we've got a line that ends in dark gems. This allows us to craft this guy, but there's a few items in between that you should do in order to uh, basically make that process easier. You could potentially spend a lot of time looking for these dark lands. I think I saw some dark land trees not too far from here, so we might be really lucky because it's not uncommon to have to travel like several kilometers in order to actually find a dark lands tree. And then not only that, when we get there, we have to deal with the enemies there. We'll have to kill the creatures that live there to get their gems and whatnot. And of course, like there's a certain risk reward fighting the stronger ones and versus the weaker ones. I think I needed, there we go, that's good enough. And that should allow us to finish that compass I was attempting to build. All right. So we can ask this compass to look for things such as dark lands. Uh, so if we were to follow this, it will function like a normal compass. It'll take us to the dark lands. So if we kind of went off in that direction, we'd likely find something. But that is for another time. Uh, so I'm not too sure how long these Let's Plays could be. They're going to be probably inconsistent in size. But just for the heck of it, like uh, we've captured these cows. We've been breeding them to get some more. We're going to slowly make this house a little bit better. Um, I built a little bridge to get to that other island easier. We've made the strainer. We added a little bit of decoration. Like just little things to add some character. Oh, and the greatness of Tanji sticks cannot be uh, cannot be stressed enough. But anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm going to work on the next tutorial before I get too far ahead so that the... Uh, two systems are relatively close. I did sneak a peek at what my friend's base looks like. It's significantly more advanced than mine, but at the same time, he's not spending several hours a day editing videos. Well, not several hours, but enough time. So talk to you guys later.